Hello, this is Stockfarter for entertainment and educational purposes only. I had a little time, so I wanted to go back to what um, the gap fill thing, situation. So we're heading into this zone. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we overtake it a little bit, although this stopping buying action here give a little bit of pause we see that it's back to uh, what um, what would be a seemingly distribution pattern however uh, there's no selling at the tops right you don't see a thing like this at the top okay so um, uh, I think this was a uh, they hit a, I'm not really sure, <laughs> maybe someone that thought it was going up and saw it coming back down and got scared. I'm <clears throat> not really sure about this one. Uh, volume, yeah, volume's not a perfect analysis, but you can tell by the shape of it that it's, it's coming back down to the zone for a retest, um, which is perfectly fine before it goes higher and uh, even my AI on the daily is saying, or daily, that it's eventually coming up to around $13, and that the <coughs> uh, this could go as far as 980 on the AI because it's like looking to touch this top, which is possible. It could come back and test this top, but uh, then I would expect a a takeoff from there, uh, sort of like what we did uh, back here when it came back and retested the top. Of course, it only retested this top, which is this one I'm kind of expecting this time. And um, it could go a little deeper, um, but I think uh, it's still, everything still stands true so far. Uh, we had a little delay yesterday, sorry, I wasn't able to kind of get on and state that I thought it was a delay, uh, but that's okay. Um, as long as you've kept in mind what's going on, gap fill to gap fill, um, I will definitely get on live or something if it turns out that it's not this way, um, that it's uh, UTAB and somehow it's secretive and then didn't <laughs> it did not uh, put all the volume at the top um, what I see is it coming down into this area and then uh, the volume really taking off hopefully um, that's what we'll really want to look for um, on that if you have any questions uh, throw it in the uh, thing but uh, basically, we had a Wyckoff range. We, we broke out. This was the sign of strength. We're coming back down uh, into the top zone area, which is normal to uh, test. Plus, we have a gap here. We go to the daily. Show you the gap. It's uh, not quite the full degree, so it may not go all the way to the bottom, but I believe it will fill that gap. Um, and of course my AI has been doing such a good job that on AMC alone I've uh, got a pretty good, uh, sorry about the background noise, uh, had a weird thing pop up. Um, so um, yeah, that's the way I see it. I think by the end of the day, uh, I'd like to see us down in here and kind of trading a little bit sideways. That way, tomorrow it can use the strength to uh, push up. And uh, it can still have the three pattern thing uh, where it comes down and it would bounce in here, come back up go sideways, come down, a little bit higher, come up, not as high, come down, 
touch the top and take off. However, the way AMC has been doing it, uh, it just comes down for the one retest. And that might be all. It depends on how much volume we really see come in here. Um, but yeah, I don't see, I mean, it's possible that we do something like this today where it does another delay pattern before coming down into this. But to me, it seems like it's pretty much, it's very directional based. It's uh, in a very downtrend type of thing. Uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty good way to look at it. Um, of course, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments, and I'll just make that one quick and dirty, and uh, catch you on the flip side.